What's up, YouTube? This is Black to God, and welcome to the episode of Yu Gi Oh! Chat. Now, first off, let me give a couple of quick shout outs. The first one being to Striker T93, the second one being to Anti Gravity Dueling, the third being to Captain GX101, and the fourth being to X Negative Energy. So, if you guys could, please go check out their channels, rate, like, comment, subscribe to their stuff. Any kind of love and support you can give them, I'm sure, would be greatly appreciated by them. Also, I've started up a new segment here on my channel. It's called Subscriber Showcase. Uh, it's where I kind of feature another YouTuber and kind of they put up a video on my channel so you guys can kind of see what they have to offer over on their channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy this segment. I've already done one with Mickey Vlogs uh, earlier this week. I've got more coming up later this week with Cyrus 13 and Slim X Team Symmetry and more coming so forth and so on in the upcoming weeks and months. So hopefully this is something you guys can really get behind and show these guys some love and support. I already subscribed to these guys. They are really good YouTubers, and hopefully you'll enjoy their content as much as I have. With that said, I'd like to kind of talk about this week's discussion, and that is Forgotten Archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh! And what I mean by that is, so often in Yu-Gi-Oh! is an archetype released, and then never get any more support in another set, or possibly maybe one or two card support in a later set, but nothing really continual or gradual, nothing to help really improve the set. So what am I talking about? Uh, I'm talking about archetypes like Iron Chain. Archetypes like Arcana Force, uh, archetypes like Cloudian. These archetypes are released in one set and then really never heard of again. These archetypes are something that a lot of players try and build decks around, invest time, invest money even in some cases, to build these archetypes. And then what are they rewarded for with it? Nothing. While other archetypes continually get major support, archetypes like Hokimaru, which got support I think for like over a year, and set after set we get more you know support for Kokimaru. And to some extent, uh, archetypes like Nordic and even Crystal Beast get released massively in one set, and then we never really get any more new card support for them as well too. And my question is, why does Konami do this? Is it just because, well, you know, the characters in the anime never used any more than the cards that we release, so, you know, uh, there's no more new Crystal Beast because there was no more new ones used in the anime? Or do you think it's just you know, they create archetypes and they're like, you know what, this archetype is not really working for us. Instead of trying to fix it or release support that would help keep it competitive, let's just forget about it. You know, F it. You know, why, why keep moving on with it? In my opinion, there are so many cards released in each and every set, you know, a hundred cards at least, that Konami can give some percentage of the cards released in each new set to back support of sets. So what I mean is, like, if there's a hundred cards released in every set, why not give 10 or 15 of them you know, make them for like back support for sets. So there's going to be 15 of each card sets can go to something like Cloudian or Crystal Beast or even stuff like Blackwing and Gravekeepers or whatever. Just old archetypes that could use another boost to help keep them up to date with the current meta or just, you know, the cards that are coming out. In some degree, they're doing this now more recently with the new Samurai Structure Deck, or I'm sorry, Six Samurai Structure Deck where they're, you know, giving us an exceed for the Six Samurais. Why can't they do this with you know, a multitude of archetypes. Why do they single out just one? Why not, like, you know, up-to-date some of the old ones? I know there are some people that really have, you know, a passion for some of these old archetypes, but they can never really play them because you really only have one or two kind of deck builds you can do with them because there's no new cards ever released for them. In the comment section below, let me know what do you think about these forgotten archetypes. Do you think they should just stay forgotten, never get new no support, let, you know, you know, sleeping dogs lie and just let them be? Or do you think that Konami should, you know, try and give support to these sets? I mean, so many of our new sets have, you know, little cards that don't go with any theme anyways. Why not get rid of some of those and just give a small percentage, you know, 10 new cards in every set that can help support old ones? You know, what do you guys think? In the comment section below, let me know. And I guess that's it for this week. This is Black to God.